The cooling industry provides services and equipment to keep our homes, offices, buildings, and data centers cool. It provides the refrigeration cold chain that allows us to store, transport, and deliver everything from food to vaccines. Cooling is the backbone of our society, but it's an invisible industry. We don't think about it, we just take it for granted. But the more we cool, the more we heat the planet. Today, refrigerators and air conditioners account for almost 20% of global electricity demand. The demand for cooling air conditioner will grow strongly. As global temperatures rise, population grows, and living standards improve, the demand for cooling is skyrocketing and increasing planet warming emissions. We need, first of all, to work on energy consumption, to reduce it massively. Without action, energy demand for space cooling will more than triple by 2050, consuming as much electricity as all of China and India today. And alongside that, what we're blind to is actually the challenge of addressing this 1.1 billion people who don't have access to cooling. So we've got two challenges. Governments, businesses and cities are already taking on the challenge. The cities are not waiting for climate change. We can see that climate change is already a reality for us, so we have to act. Alternatives can help make our cities cooler. Building designs and materials, urban parks and green roofs, cool reflective roofs, and district cooling networks are all cost-effective solutions that lower CO2 emissions. Countries can reduce electricity demand for cooling by setting building codes and minimum energy performance standards, while off-grid solutions can maintain cold chains where grid electricity is not available. Energy transition needs to be affordable, to be implemented the rapid way. We have to deliver cooling for all within inside our climate constraints. Efficient, climate-friendly cooling offers a three-in-one opportunity to cut global warming, improve the lives of hundreds of millions of people, and realize huge financial savings. We have the momentum, thanks to the Kigali Amendment, to the Montreal Protocol, the Biarritz Pledge, and now the Cool Coalition, a global multi-stakeholder network that connects a wide range of key actors. We will probably never have as good a chance to tackle the cooling challenge. But we can only go far if we go together. <laughs>